All right, good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday morning. Welcome to this time of prayer. Welcome to this time of reading the scriptures together. It is time to rise up, prayer warriors. Everyone that's joining us this morning, it is great to have you. Good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday, wherever you are today. Aaron, good to see you this morning. God bless you. I'll wait just a second till some more folks log on here. And good to see you today and everyone that is joining us. I hope you had a great 4th of July yesterday. I hope you, I mean, it's pretty warm here in Sioux Falls, probably warm everywhere. Good morning, Ben. Great to see you this morning. Tony's in the house, welcoming all you prayer warriors to rise up, take your place, assume your responsibility. Hi, Kelly. Great to see you this morning. Hope you had a great fourth today. All right. Good morning, everyone. Yesterday, I talked a little bit about the fact that in the same way that the uh, the Revolutionary War, the, the departing of America, the, the, the American colonies, from the, the rulership of England and the tyranny of King George III, that parallels our spiritual independence and victory from Satan. Uh, we have been delivered from the, the kingdom of darkness. We are no longer under Satan's rule. Uh, the New Testament is our declaration of independence. It declares that we are free from Satan. We are free from his control. We are free from his authority, free to live for God, free to live for God's purpose in our lives, no longer in bondage. And so uh, this week, I want to talk about what that means specifically. What does it mean that we are... Good morning, Dennett. Great to see you this morning. Uh, that little boy of yours is about the cutest little thing I've ever seen other than my grandkids. Sorry. Um, anyways, uh, our Declaration of Independence in the New Testament, what are we free from? Well, uh, today I want to talk about the, the fact that, that today is free from what others think Tuesday. That's right. This is free from what others think Tuesday. Satan wants to consume us with the desire to please people, and God wants us to serve him and to please him. One thing that keeps us from being free in Christ is a desire to please other people. That, that can consume us. That can drive us, um, being driven by what other people think about us. And some of you are in that trap. Some of you are in that, but we, we all fall into that trap uh, from time to time. Um, we're, we're concerned about our appearance. We're, we're fearful of what people think about our appearance. No, no one wants to be unattractive. So sometimes we, we dress and we carry ourselves in a way that will uh, make other people, uh, you know, we want their approval with how we look. With our performance, no one wants to be a failure. So we find ourselves performing for other people. Um, our intelligence, we, we, no one wants to look stupid. Um, our, our coolness, no one wants to look weird. Our beliefs, no one wants to be rejected or ridiculed. So th this, this desire to be approved by people, this desire to be liked by people, this desire to be popular in the eyes of people can keep us from doing what God wants us to do. It's a trap for all of us. Um, Paul understood this. He, we really do perform for an audience of one, don't we? We really do, at the end of the day, we have an audience of one that we are to perform for, that we are to live for, and Paul understood that. And that's why in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 1 through 4, Paul says this, So look at Apollos and me as servants of Christ who have been put in charge of explaining God's mysteries. Now, a person who's in, who is put in charge as a manager must be faithful. Then he says this, As for me, it matters very little how I might be evaluated by you, or any human authority. I don't even trust my own judgment on this. My conscience is clear, but that doesn't prove that I'm right. It's the Lord himself who will examine me and decide. So who evaluates our lives? Who evaluates our performance? Who evaluates our, our appearance? Who evaluates uh, wh whether we're fulfilling what we're supposed to put? God does. Paul says it's a very small thing for me to be evaluated by you. It's a very small thing for me to be judged by you. It's a very small thing for, for you to condemn me or approve me because ultimately it's God who approves me or condemns me. Uh, Galatians. Uh, Galatians chapter 1, verse, verse uh, 10. Paul says, obviously, I'm not trying to win the approval of people, but of God. If, if, if pleasing people were my goal, I would not be Christ's servant. Paul says, if I was a servant of people, if I was a slave to people's opinions, I couldn't be a slave to God. I, I couldn't be a servant of God. You can't be both. You've got to either serve God and, and seek to please Him, or serve people and seek to please them. 
uh, going back to um, uh, 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 9 and 10. Paul says, so whether we are here in this body, still alive, or away from this body, dead, and in heaven, our goal is to please him. For we must all stand before Christ to be judged. We will receive whatever we deserve for the good or evil we have done in this earthly body when God judges us. Paul says, it's a small thing that you would judge me or evaluate me because that's, that's not from where I get my reward. I get my reward from God. Now, that was a lesson that I learned early on in my life. Uh, we aren't rewarded by people for the most part. We're living to be rewarded by God. I was working at, at a grocery store uh, as, a, as a, a clerk, a box boy, you know, bagging groceries. And every once in a while, the manager would send me out to collect carts from the parking lot. And, you know, I could cheat. I could, I could you know, not get all of the carts. And sometimes people, they, they, they took the carts and they, they walked them to the bus stop or something. And so I'd have to go down the street and get carts. And I didn't have to. But I knew that that was my job. And I knew that I, that I needed to please the Lord with my assignment and my responsibility. So I, would, I remember thinking to myself, if, if I get all of the carts, if I do what I'm supposed to do and don't cheat, then God's going to bless me. God's going to reward me. I don't do this because I'm being seen by my manager at the grocery store. Because ultimately, he's not the one that rewards me. I'm here to please the Lord. I'm here to work for the Lord. I'm here to work hard as under the Lord and not to please people. And, and I, got, I got promoted really quickly because I was a good worker, because I was, I was serving God. I was seeking God's approval, not man's approval. And that's got to be our attitude every day. We are, we are free to serve God because God is the one who rewards us. Now, let me read to you uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 7 and 8. Ephesians 6, 7 and 8. Uh, says this, work with enthusiasm as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember that the Lord will reward each one of us for the good we do, whether we're slaves or free. The Lord will reward you for the good that you do. The Lord will reward you. And we don't need to seek the reward, the affirmation, the approval, the blessing of people. We need to seek the approval, the affirmation, the reward from God. God is going to reward you for what you do. You're performing for Him. It's an audience of one that you perform for. Today. So you are free. You are free from the opinions of people. You are free from what others think today. You are free to follow God, seek His plan, seek His purpose, and don't trip up, don't fall and stumble in trying to, to find the approval of people today. Because Paul says, if I was still trying to please people, I wouldn't be a servant of God. If I was still trying to serve people, I couldn't be a servant of God. All right? So it's God's reward that we are seeking today. We are free. We are free from the opinions of people to serve God, right? All right, come on. Let's pray this morning. God, we pray this morning that you would help us to be concerned about what you think about our performance. Take a minute, friends. Say, God, I want to please you today. I want, I want my performance to please you today and not people. Uh, so, so, Lord, we ask you today to help us to be concerned and focused on what you think about what we're doing. Help us to be mindful of what your plan is for us. Help us to be mindful of what you want us to say, what you want us to do, how you want us to look, how you want us to, to behave and to perform God today in Jesus' name. Uh, Lord, help us help us today, Lord, to, to, to look to you for our rewards in all things. Lord, this morning we commit to seeking you for the approval and the affirmation and the blessing and the rewards that we seek in life. Not people. Not to seek people's affirmation, people's approval, people's blessing. We want to seek your blessing today, God. Lord, help us to find our affirmation in you. Help us to find our affirmation in doing what you ask us to do. We, we want to know the Father's love today. We want to know the Father's approval today, God. Even if we don't get approval from people, even if we get rejected by people, God, for standing for you, Lord, we want your approval today in Jesus' name. Lord, help us to live to please you, not others. Help us to live to, to, to please your desires Lord, I know we have responsibilities, we have to go to work, we have, to, we have a boss that we have, to, we have to please, we have to do what they want. But ultimately, Lord, 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 let us work hard, let us be diligent in our jobs, in what we have to do, so that you're pleased. That you look down on our work ethic, you look down on our performance, you look down on our attitudes, you look down today, God, on the way we carry ourselves. And you're pleased. Help us, Lord, to make that our focus. And God, help us today to be willing to be unpopular with people. God, to, to stand for you, even if they don't agree with our beliefs, 
even if they don't agree, God, with, with uh, you know, our values in life, even if they don't agree with the fact that we're Christians, we pray today, God, that we would, that we would uh, be willing to be unpopular with people today, to be popular with you. God, that you might reward us, that we might receive your affirmation and your blessing today in Jesus' name. And everybody said, come on, this is, this is free from what other people think Tuesday. Walk in the liberty of Christ today. Walk in a manner worthy of the Lord. Walk in a manner worthy of the calling God's placed on your life. Do what you need to do to fulfill your earthly responsibilities, but do it to please God. Do it to be rewarded by Him. God has a rich reward. The rewards that God has for you are far greater than human rewards today. What God can give you is far more fulfilling than what people can give you. God sees everything you do. God sees God sees what no one else sees. So live 24-7 to please Him. Recognize that the eyes of the Lord are on your life. He sees the evil and the, He knows everything about you. So constantly live with, with a circumspect attitude, knowing that God will reward those who seek Him. Amen. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great Tuesday today. Live for Him today, friends. Tell somebody that Jesus loves them and, and, and He can make a difference in their lives. God bless you.